Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the roles and responsibilities of a structural engineer. So what is our role as a structural engineer? Let's say John wants to build a new home. So John will be willing to pay whatever money it is necessary to build the home. Now the question is, how will John go about it? John will contact a consultancy firm with architect and engineer and their job is to interpret John's plans and turn it into a reality. So as you can see, the architect and engineer has a pretty difficult job because they have to take an abstract concept from someone who has no idea about engineering or building of structures and they turn it into a reality. So a structural engineer job is a bit challenging. They take the design from the architect and make it structurally sound and structurally safe. There are many objectives of a structural engineer. The first one is structural engineer needs to meet the aesthetic demand of the architect and the client. So simply, the way this work is, the structural designer work with the architect while the architect work with the client. So the structural designer is like the subcontractor. The second objective is the structural designer needs to make the structure have enough strength when the structure is subjected to load and to make the structure safe so it doesn't kill people. The third objective is the structural designer needs to make sure the structure meets serviceability performance. That is the structure day-to-day -day performance. What we mean by this is as the structure is being used, the structure does not need to vibrate too much. Otherwise, it will be uncomfortable. The structure can't deflate too much. This is what we know as the service limit state. The fourth objective is the structural designer needs to make sure the structure is constructible. That is, if you are designing a bridge, the bridge needs to be constructible or else there is no point building one. The last one is the structural designer needs to make sure the structure is economical. The structural designer can't design a beam or a column that is super, super big because it is going to cost the client a lot of money and I am sure the client will not be happy about that. So these are the roles and responsibility of a structural designer. Before I leave, I'm going to leave you with a famous quote by Sir Adicross, which says, strength is essential, but otherwise unimportant. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon for more videos like this. Bye bye.